This is the video for lesson 34 on my website, Reading a Thermometer and Ruler. This is an easy lesson, but it builds skills that will be important later when we have to interpret graphs and charts. Let's take a look at this picture of a thermometer. First of all, notice that it's in degrees Celsius. In most parts of the world, they use Celsius to measure temperature, but in the United States, we use Fahrenheit. Later, you'll learn how to convert from one system to the other. Now, we want to figure out how high the mercury is in this thermometer, and before we can do that, we need to figure out what each of these lines represent. Now, the first thing we do is we notice that there are four lines in between the 10 and the 20, and that means that there are five steps to get us from 10 to 20. If you count, you'll see this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, between 20 and 10, there's 10 degrees. So we can take that 10 degrees and divide it by 5, the 5 steps, and see that each step represents 2 degrees. Now, with that, if we wanted, we could label this 12, this line 14. I'm using opposite sides just so that I don't have to squeeze it in as much. This is 16, and this is 18 degrees. Now we're not done yet. We can see that the mercury is halfway between the 16 and the 18, so we can just deduce pretty easily that the mercury is at 17 degrees, halfway between the 16 and the 18. So that thermometer is showing us 17 degrees Celsius. Okay. Let's take a look at this diagram of a ruler. First of all, we can see that what we're looking at here represents one inch. It's just magnified very large. Now, on any ruler, this is how the lines are going to look. There'll be a long line in between each of the inch marks, and that represents a half. It's halfway between the inches, and that's the longest line. Now, the next shortest line represents fourths, or quarters of an inch, and that makes sense because it's halfway between, in this case, the zero inch mark and the half inch mark. It's half, it's actually half of a half, which is one fourth. And similarly, following the same pattern, we can see that one eighth is half of one fourth. And continuing even further, we can see here that one sixteenth is half of one eighth. The ruler can actually teach us many things about comparing fractions. For example, if we look along the top, we can see that this little line represents 7 sixteenths. This is 9 sixteenths. It makes sense that in between will be 8 sixteenths. And notice how that's equal to a half, as expected. If we take a look at another example, in between the 3 sixteenths and the 5 sixteenths, we have 4 sixteenths, which is equal to 1 fourth. And we can continue making those comparisons. For now, I'd suggest studying a ruler. Make sure that you feel comfortable with measuring in sixteenths or eighths or quarters. Just make sure that you see what each line represents. This is just a very basic introductory lesson, but in later lessons we'll work with the skills that we've learned in this lesson and we'll take them to the next level.